The 1-2 and 2-3 shift valves are control valves, which are supplied with line pressure from the manual valve. They either block fluid or allow it to flow at prevailing line pressure to a clutch or band. Their operation is determined by a spring plus TV pressure at one end. This acts in opposition to governor pressure at the other end. This valve is mounted on the transmission output shaft and rotates with it. It re-regulates line pressure supplied from the manual valve in relation to vehicle speed. When vehicle speed is low, governor pressure is low. When vehicle speed is high, governor pressure is high. Governor pressure is directed to the end of the shift valve to oppose TV and spring pressure. This produces upshifts relative to vehicle speed. This valve is included in the throttle valve combination. When the accelerator is depressed fully, the downshift valve supplies line pressure onto the spring end of the shift valve. If road speed is below a certain value, this forces the shift valve to move and initiate a downshift to a lower gear. This valve is in the circuit to the release side of the front band servo. It is a timing device. When a 2-3 upshift is made at higher road speeds, it correlates front band release and rear clutch application. Conversely, it correlates rear clutch release and front band reapplication when a 3-2 downshift is made under similar conditions. This valve makes line pressure and throttle pressure sensitive to road speed. At higher speeds, it cuts back these pressures to allow smooth upshifts. It also moderates line pressure increases produced by wide throttle openings during stall or upshift conditions. High throttle pressures produced at these times raise line pressure very high. This is because the throttle pressure is applied to the spring end of the primary regulating valve. Modulator pressure is applied to the opposite end of the regulating valve to counteract this and moderate its influence.